इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखने के लिए सेटिंग्स में जाकर हिंदी ऑडियो चुनें। नमस्कार वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाई योर स्पेस प्लानिंग अहेड फॉर द अपकमिंग वीक इन सिग्निफिकेंटली स्ट्रीमलाइन योर किचन एक्टिविटीज A well-prepared and organized kitchen makes the cooking routine enjoyable and stress-free. In today's video, I will be sharing my kitchen prep routine which has been instrumental in simplifying my cooking for the week ahead. Let's get started. I prefer to tackle my next week's kitchen prep over the weekend when I have some free time. However, you can choose any day that suits your schedule. If you prefer to relax on the weekend, feel free to pick another day during the week for your prep session. Let's begin with the shopping list. I jot down all the vegetables and fruits I will need for the upcoming week. Additionally, I make sure to note down any items in my pantry like pulses, sugar, rice, flour and others that are either finished or about to finish. Usually groceries are purchased once a month, but few items I buy as per need only. By creating a comprehensive list and purchasing everything we need once a week, we can ensure that our kitchen routine for the upcoming week remains smooth and hassle-free. As soon as the groceries arrive I promptly transfer them into containers This step is crucial and should be done immediately after receiving the groceries Leaving them unpacked in the kitchen can lead to them sitting there untouched for a week This can result in interruptions during kitchen work when you realize certain items have run out forcing you to fetch new packages from storage Such interruptions not only waste time but also disrupt the flow of our kitchen routine. The next essential task is filling up the spice jars. While I mostly rely on ready-made spices, I have recently started making some of them at home. I have kept a masala box with all the regular spices I use in daily cooking. I ensure it is filled properly to last the entire week. avoiding midweek refills Additionally I have a separate box for whole spices and tadka ingredients which I refill as per need This box lasts nearly a month since I don't use many of these items daily Similarly I keep the salt container full I use mustard oil and peanut oil for cooking so I store these in oil dispensers For ghee I have a large dispenser that holds enough for around 7 to 10 days Properly storing groceries, ghee, oil and spices in adequate quantities makes our cooking much more manageable. The groceries are stored and now I ensure that any incoming vegetables and fruits are stored properly. For fruits I use a basket that I have shown in my videos before. It can hold a large quantity of fruits and the net cover helps keep fruit flies at bay. This much quantity of potatoes, onions and tomatoes can easily last for a week. I 
I store remaining vegetables in vegetable storage boxes which can help extend their shelf life and prevents them from spoiling quickly. Additionally, I have a separate box where I store daily use ingredients like green chilies, peeled garlic, ginger, clean curry leaves and coriander leaves. Having these ingredients readily available in one place streamlines my cooking routine, making it more efficient and faster. Before storing vegetables, I always take a quick inventory of the fridge to check for any old items or leftover food that won't be consumed anymore. I remove these items to free up space and prepare the fridge for upcoming week. I also take a cloth and wipe down the shelves to keep the fridge clean and organized. Quick reorganizing and stacking all the containers properly in the fridge helps me easily spot the item I need while cooking in the kitchen. These small habits play a significant role in making a kitchen routine smoother and more efficient. During meals, we often enjoy having pickles, which is why I like to keep a variety of them on the dining table. It can be a bit cumbersome to get pickles out of large containers every day, so I store them in smaller containers for convenience and to offer choices easily. Additionally, I keep a mix of dry fruits and nuts prepared on the dining table, making it convenient for daily consumption. Keeping items like fruits and dry fruits visible outside encourages their consumption and makes them easily accessible. After storing fruits, vegetables and groceries, it is important to check if all the necessary cleaning items for the kitchen are available. I repurpose old torn clothes by cutting them into small pieces and use them as disposable wipes for cleaning kitchen spills. I occasionally use paper towel also so I refill it as needed. I wash all the soiled kitchen cloths on the weekend to ensure I have enough supply for the upcoming week. Once they are dry, I fold them neatly and stack them in the kitchen drawer. Additionally, I refill the kitchen soap dispenser, dish liquid dispenser and the DIY cleaner I use to clean the kitchen, making the cleaning process easier. If the scrub pads and kitchen wipes are worn out, I replace them with the new ones as well. This helps maintain a clean and organized kitchen environment. I also like to do some meal prepping in advance which saves a lot of time in the kitchen. For breakfast, I keep roasted vermicelli, semolina and peanuts handy. 
If you have a microwave, you can roast vermicelli and semolina in it. Peanuts can be roasted in an air fryer in just 5 to 6 minutes. I also prepare a coriander and mint chutney that goes well with the sandwiches and snacks. I make idli dosa batter once a week which lasts for 4 to 5 days and serves as a staple for breakfast, lunch and snacks. During the summer, we love vinegar onions in our house. To make them, mix a cup of vinegar with cup of hot water and add cut beetroot pieces, salt and a bit of sugar and let it cool down. Once cooled, add sliced onions and chopped green chilies. Let it sit for a few hours, then store in the fridge for 15 to 20 days. I fry makhana in ghee as one of the snack options for my son. Adding salt and black pepper makes it delicious. I also have cheese seasoning and peri peri masala for flavoring makhanas and popcorn. Garlic butter is another favorite. Simply mix chopped garlic and pizza seasoning into melted butter and refrigerate for quick garlic bread for snacks. I chop and store few vegetables like carrots, capsicum, raw mangoes and beans along with paneer. I also like to keep a few boiled potatoes in the fridge. These prepped ingredients are handy for making quick sandwiches, snacks or pulao. I also keep a small amount of basic gravy in the freezer made from fried and ground tomatoes, onions and green chilies. While fresh ingredients are always best and ideal, these prepared items are a lifesaver on busy days when cooking from scratch is not feasible. Having these prepped ingredients in my fridge enables me to cook at home rather than ordering out on busy days saving time and ensuring healthier meals. Creating a meal prepping chart in advance can be incredibly helpful. By having a list of meals ready for each day, you can eliminate the time-consuming process of deciding what to cook daily. I have made numerous videos on meal prepping in the past. The link to these videos can be found in the description box below. That's all for today. I hope you found my kitchen prep routine helpful. Embracing this routine helps me in preparing meals on time for myself and my family with ease. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Simplify Your Space for more such content. We'll see you all next week. And until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.